Hey, up here, it's me, Mike. Good to see you're ready. After 10 days cooped up aboard, you must be keen to get going and to make the most of your time here on the Antarctic Peninsula. The colony of emperor penguins we've been studying seems to have moved, and we're here to find it. As you search by kayak, I'll track your progress and stay in touch via your headset. You never know what's going to happen out there, and it's my job to stay aboard and keep you and the other explorers safe. Remember, your kayak will be carried forward by the tide, so it should be easy going. It's a bit misty out here on the open water, but it'll clear up as you head inland. Okay, get in the kayak, and off you go! out for other wildlife and enjoy the scenery. I love it out here. If you're feeling energetic, you can get busy with the paddle to speed up and steer. Don't forget to document your journey. Your photos will be a valuable addition to our research. I'll tell you more about the wildlife you encounter and the Antarctic environment as you go along. Checking out your kayak. Hey, those are some emperor penguins. They're probably hunting for fish. Maybe you'll find the colony up ahead. Steady now. The strength of the current increases in this narrow passage. Just stay calm. You'll be okay.
These solitary mammals are called minke whales, and they can be hard to spot. They feed on swarms of krill, which feast on the blooms of plankton living in a layer of fresh water melted from the glaciers. Looks like you've only encountered a few hunting penguins, not the main colony. We were right, it must have moved. You'll have to continue your search from a field camp, located on top of the ice shelf. Just let the kayak glide up onto the sea ice and get out. Established climbing route leading to the camp? Time to get your climbing gear out. 